መቸም በሀገራችን ባህል መሰረት አዲስ አመት ለዩ ትርጉም አለው ይሄም ምንድነው አመተ ምህረት ነው ምንለው ይሄ ቀላል አነጋገር አይደለም ስለዚህ የሁላችን ምኞት ኢትዮጵያውያን በሙሉ ምኞት መሆን ያለበት ይሄ የምን ይዘው አዲሱ አመት የሰላም የፍቅር ያንድነት የትብብር የመቻቻል የመቻቻል እንዲሆን ይችላል ይሄን ምኞት ይሄ ነው ማሰግራለሁ I was asked here how I feel about this uh, uh, wonderful uh, project that you have. I found it to be very challenging. Uh, I also found it to be unique in many ways. Indeed, it is the first for me of its kind. I don't think I'm now 66 old years old and I'm a member of the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. I don't think during my age I have seen this kind of a daring, timely project. I say daring because 
it's not going to be easy for you. I don't think I am the first one to tell you this. Yet, you have decided to join. Because the cause for which you have signed in is extremely important. That cause being peace for Ethiopia, unity for Ethiopia. I do know that if we don't have unity, we will not have peace in Ethiopia. If we don't have peace in Ethiopia, there will be no way of development. Therefore, by what you have done, you are addressing all the root causes of the Ethiopian problem. I have carefully read the document that I just got this morning. It's wonderful. It's wonderful because it addresses all our current problems and challenges. It addresses the whole question of ethnic differences. It addresses the whole question of political differences. It addresses the whole issue of poverty. It addresses, in general, the whole issue of lack of unity. <coughs> I don't think you have left any issue, any challenging issue, untouched. Of course, the question one may ask is, after this kind of sacrifice that you individually and collectively are taking, I deliberately call it sacrifice. What is the outcome, what is the result going to be? How many of us are going to follow you in this journey, in this journey of hope? Because your journey is a journey of hope. Hope has no end, of course. Hope has no end. It's continuous. And you have started that journey for all of us. That's why I, I am proud of all of you. I said to my sister here, I am not sure if I was between 20 and 25 years old now, whether I would have the courage to join you in this. When I see Ethiopians who are determined to do what I think, when I examine myself, that I may not be able to do, I respect them. This is why I respect you. I respect you for this. You, you are going to be a wonderful example for all of us, in whatever age you may be. I hope our church leaders, the church leadership, the Orthodox church leadership, the Catholic church leadership, the Muslim leadership, and all the other, the other religious groups would follow your example and ask why have they started this journey of hope? What is the message that they are going to share with us? I hope they will ask this and support you. Not individually, support the cause for which you are standing together in this journey of hope. I am an Amhara. I am born an Amhara. I did not choose to be an Amhara. I'm proud of it, as I am proud of any Oromo, of any Tigrayan, or any other ethnic person. Yes, we have difference. That difference is power for us, if only we use it in its right way. Why is it difficult for us, irrespective to which, to which ethnic group we belong, to live together? respecting each other's culture, tradition, and language. May God bless you. May your mission be successful. May God accompany you wherever you are going to go. And for all of you to see the result 
of this endeavor.